Okay, in this example, we're going to learn how to factorize a cubic equation by long division. <coughs> First, we must let <coughs> fx equals to this for presentation. So now, use your calculator in equation mode and you know that the answer for x is minus 4 and 3 if the equation is equal to 0. Okay, so that being the case, we know that the factors are x plus 4 and x minus 3 already. So let's get started. f of 3 equals to So use your calculator and you find that this is 0. So therefore, since the remainder is 0, therefore x minus 3 is a factor. Okay, so that we got one factor already. Now we shall use long division. So x cubed minus 2x minus 15x plus 36 divided by x minus 3. So how do we do that? Look at this. x cubed divided by x. So it's x squared. Now this multiplied by this will give me x cubed minus 3x squared. <coughs> so negative 2 minus minus 3 give me 1. 1x squared. So again, th this divided by this will give me x. Okay, so x squared minus 3x. And this one bring down. So negative 15 minus minus 3 give me negative 12x. Then 36. So again, this divided by this is negative 12. So negative 12 times x give me negative 12x. Negative 12 times negative 3 give me plus 36. So factorize, no remainder already. So it's factorized. So far, this is equal to this times this. So therefore, x cubed minus 2x squared minus 15x plus 36 is equal to x minus 3 x squared plus, plus x minus 12 which is equal to x minus 3. This 2 will be factorized as x minus 3 x plus 4. Okay, so it is factorized already. So, Next, we shall have another example. Another example is uh, what we have to factorize. 2x cubed minus 7x squared plus 9. This example is to illustrate if, what if there's a missing term. So in this case, there isn't an x term. So what we do is, same thing, let fx equals to 2x cubed minus 7x squared plus 9. So, first of all, use your calculator, go to equation mode, key in 2 for the coefficient of the x cubed, negative 7 for the coefficient of the x squared, and 0 for the coefficient of x, and 9 for the constant term. And the calculator will tell you that the answer is x is negative 1, 3, and 3 over 2. So if the equation is equal to 0, then uh, the solution for the equation will be negative 1, 3, and 3 over 2. So what we'll do is we'll pretend to try. So try f of negative 1. Okay, so 2 negative 1 cubed minus 7 negative 1 squared plus 9. And the answer you calculate will be 0. So therefore, x plus 1 is a factor. Why is it x plus 1 is a factor? Because x is equal to minus 1, that means x plus 1 equals to 0. Okay, so therefore the factor is x plus 1. <coughs> okay, so now let's continue long division. So 2x cubed minus 7x squared. I don't leave an empty space or just write plus 0x. Okay, plus 9. So divided it will be divided by x plus 1. So again, this divided by this will give me 2x squared. 2x squared times x will give me 2x cubed. Times this will give me plus 2x squared. 
So bracket minus. Okay. <coughs> negative 7 minus 2 will give me negative 9x squared plus 0x. Okay, so negative 9x squared divided by x will give me negative 9x. So multiply will give me negative 9x squared minus 9x. So this will give me 0 minus minus 9 give me 9x. Okay, plus 9. So this divided by this give me plus 9. So 9x plus 9. No remainder. 0. So that means the factors, the, that means this is equal to this times this. So, okay, I'm going to write down 2x cubed minus 7x squared plus 9 is equal to x plus 1 multiplied by 2x squared minus 9x plus 9. And uh, earlier we know that the answer is uh, negative 3 and 3 over 2 already. So, so the answer is 3 and, and 3 over 2 already. We know that. Okay, so by the calculator. And therefore we factorize it. We know the answer is 3. That means factor is x minus 3. Another factor is uh, 3 over 2. So it's 2x minus 3. So you don't have to know how to factorize. You just can work backward from the answer. But you must present it in a manner that is uh, convinced the examiner that you know what you're doing. Okay, so this is factorization by long division. And that's the end of the video.